teach in our computer game science program. Uh, I teach our capstone project class, the, the fruits of which are surrounding us at the moment. Uh, I'm really excited to have so many people in the room playing our games. Uh, I wanted to welcome you. I wanted to especially welcome and thank uh, the mentors from Blizzard Game Studios, Amazon Game Studios, Obsidian, and Melissa, where is your official affiliation right now? Where are you? And, and, and our one indie game mentor in the room. Uh, so please give them a big round of applause. We appreciate We could not teach this class without the generosity of our mentors in the local community. Uh, and we are incredibly grateful for the contributions that they bring to the class, for their wisdom, for their insight, for their guidance. Uh, in some ways, I have the easiest teaching job on campus because all I do is put these people in a room together and let them do the hard stuff, which is to say troubleshoot uh, the incredibly complex process of making a game in 20 weeks, which is not very much time. Uh, this is the senior capstone project for the computer game science major. Uh, the games you see here are the result of two quarters worth of effort. Uh, the students who have produced these games ha are about to graduate and enter the world uh, where hopefully they will take what they have learned and do great things with that. Um, I'm not going to talk for very long, but I do want to give each of our teams of students an opportunity to very briefly uh, introduce you to the games that they have made. Uh, talk a little bit about their experience in the class uh, and hopefully entice you to come and play some of the work that they have produced over the course of the quarter. So we're going to start over here with Team Blob, Kano, Team Electricano, I suppose <laughs> their name. Uh, they have made two games this quarter, but they still only get five minutes to talk. Yeah, so I'll go quickly. So um, our team uh, began with Blob Kano this year. Uh, it is a uh, arena. Uh, combat game in which you play as a little blob that lives in a volcano uh, and you have a punch and a grapple and you're in an arena where the floor is lava and rocks are falling from the sky and your objective is to be the last person to die. Uh, this one we've got three controllers set up uh, and it's ready to go in uh, classic mode. What happened was we started this for like 13 months it's a really long degree, guys. <laughs> we got 13 weeks into this, and then we hit the Global Game Jam, um, and we decided to go for the I Thrive Challenge of Find the Kind uh, with Electrio. Uh, and it's, this game is something that stemmed off of a mechanic that happened uh, kind of organically in Blobcana, where we figured out that we could connect to each other. And we thought that would be a really interesting thing to explore as a movement mechanic in another game. So Electrio is a, um, which is being played right here, is a uh, collaborative um, uh, puzzle game where you play as a little wire monster that is inside of a um, power plant, and your goal is to power up the city that's going through a power outage. And to do that, you have control of both of your arms, and you have like little alligator clips on the end, and you can grab onto your environment to move around, and then also grab onto your friends to move them around the environment. <laughs> So yeah, uh, if you uh, have a chance, come check out our games. Thanks. All right. Thanks. We're now going to turn and talk to Team Paradox back here. Uh, hi guys, we're Team Paradox. What we've developed is a mobile game that's supposed to be a turn-based time puzzle game. Um, so it's supposed. So our first quarter, we spent a lot of time working on the mechanics and pretty much everything we wanted to do. And then the second quarter, we pretty much polished up everything, made it look nice. We, all our art is original assets that we created. And so pretty much we've used anything, like pretty much this whole project was made with us just four people. And everyone dedicated to specific jobs. And that's how we're able to like come to the point where we have 50 levels in our game so far. And we're planning on releasing it for Android Store first and then moving on to iOS. Cool. Next we have Thunk Tank. Hi, we're Thunk Tank, and we made a game called. What, what's our game called? Discarded. <laughs> <laughs> we made a game. We made our game is called Discarded. It's a 2D action platformer, and it's pretty difficult. If you win, you get. If you win, if you can get through it without dying, I'll give you a free bag of chips. Cause that's the only prize I have right now. Um, it's a. Two, it's a 2D action platformer. You play as a scientific experiment that got dumped inside the cave with all the other failed experiments and you're trying to find your way out 
and eventually do other things if we, depending on how much we develop in the next week. And, um, <laughs> but you can, you, you jump, you dodge, you hit things, and timing is, timing is key and patience is key. When you play the game, don't try, and the idea is that you're supposed to get your situation analysis and then think through it slowly, and if you just try to go through the whole thing and speed run it, then you'll fail quickly, which is less than you'll learn if you play the game. But yeah, 2D platformer. You jump, you dodge, and you hit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce, I think, for the first time in the history of the Capstone Project, an analog game uh, created by the appropriately named Team Analog. Uh, we're Team Analog. Uh, our game is called Eldritch Knights. It is a horror tabletop RPG, uh, so similar to D&D. However, there is no combat involved. Uh, we wanted to make it s sort of horrific, along the lines of like Amnesia or those other types of video games where you simply don't have a weapon and you have to run from the monsters that you face. Uh, I think our biggest thing that we've learned throughout these past quarters is that playtesting is super important. Uh, we recorded all of our playtests, we went back through them, and we changed a lot based off of the feedback that we got. Cool. Next we have That Otter Game Studio. Yes, we are That Otter Game Studio. We made uh, Cat's Yarn, which is a story game where you, you play as a, a young astronaut who is chasing after a shooting star. And uh, we wanted to go for a novelty in our game. That's what we're trying to, we tried to get that in both the story, the art, and the uh, gameplay mechanics. So if you play our game, you'll see a lot of different uh, different aspects as you travel from planet to planet, and uh, yeah, chase the star. Next up is the Boo Crew. Hi, um, our game is a, a story-based adventure click, uh, point-and-click game. Um, <clears throat> there, are, uh, it's called Hotel Limbo. Um, it takes place in a world between life and death and the character tries, is placed in this world and tries to figure out what she's there for. Um, our game has three main components, a great writing, good art, and a lot of heart. <laughs> uh, here we have another capstone first. This is our first ever fighting game in the history of the capstone project, uh, and the appropriately named team is the team of fighters. <laughs> Hi, uh, we're the team of fighters, and our game is called Curbside Combat. Uh, so like Professor Tannenbaum said, we were trying to do something that hasn't really been done before, which is to make a full flesh fighting game in 20 weeks. Uh, we got a lot of strange looks when we proposed that. Uh, it was really difficult, but we learned a lot coming out of the project. We wanted to make something that was tailored more towards people who don't play a whole lot of fighting games and want to learn. Uh, so our design goal was to make something that is still fun to mash buttons in if you don't know what you're doing, but still has some of the core fighting mechanics that you want to teach new players who want to get into the genre. Uh, so we do need two people to play it, so if you want to come down and mash with a buddy, come over and say hi. Um, yeah, that's us. And last, but certainly not least, uh, we have Morty's Mind Blowers. <laughs> <laughs> We're Morty's Mind Blowers. Our game is called Vindicators. It's a 2D platformer, kind of hack and slash adventure game where a lot of the focus is on narrative and exploring the game. Uh, a lot of our first quarter was done for polishing our mechanics for the game, so coming up with the system. And a lot of our second quarter is coming up with the core narrative for the game. So when you do play, take your time, look around, talk to every NPC you can, and just enjoy it. So yeah, thank you all for coming. Uh, the games will be out and playable up until I think around seven o'clock. So mingle, meet people, talk, play games, have fun. And yeah, thank you very much. Oh.